Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis. Today, I am participating in an open invitation issued by my sister, Denise Jordan, over at This and That with Denise Jordan. She is hosting the Kitchen Vignette Challenge. Now, her rules were very simple. It was actually one rule, basically. And we are to create a kitchen vignette using a tray, a floral, be it live or faux, and a book. Now, guys, this is my before. When I saw this open invitation, I was like, oh, yes, I'm going to participate in it because I love decorating different spaces in my kitchen on my countertop. And I wanted to, to do something different in this corner here. Nothing wrong with it, love it. I'm gonna move this, these decorative home decor pieces to another area, but I'm gonna do something different in the corner. So, stay tuned. Well guys, I have removed everything from the corner, I have cleaned it up and everything, so now I'm ready to put things in its place. This corner got really dark with me removing that, uh, that little mini lamp that I had, so I don't know if it'll be going back or not. Um, but here is the tray that I will be using. Uh, I shopped my home. I did not go out spending any money for this uh, challenge here. Uh, so I've had this for a while. Uh, this tray was actually a teal blue color and I painted it this tan color, all right, or beige color. Here is my floral piece that I am thinking about using. I use this, this floats around my home quite a bit. This is that Target One Spot uh, planner that was out a couple of years ago and I wish I would have picked up more of these for that price, right? And my Red Roses, which is my favorite flower. Here are the books that I will be using. They're cookbooks um, that I use quite often in my kitchen. All right, so I will be using these in this vignette here. So stay tuned for the reveal. So are you ready for the reveal? Well, here it is. So let me take you in for a closer look. I'm gonna start with my cookbooks here. I usually have it set up like this anyway. These books were actually sitting right here where my canisters are. I just swapped the placement out. Um, but I think it's just convenient to have a, your cookbooks on a stand. So if need be, if I need to move it, um, I can just pick the entire stand up and move it out of the way. Now that was uh, Denise's idea as far as the tray itself, and I love that. You know, I would always uh, have a vignette in the corner, but if I needed to move uh, the home decor, I would have to individually move each piece. And I love this even better. So thanks Denise for this challenge here. But let me show you the pieces that I have here. I purchased this plate a while back here from Home Goods. Um, only could find one. It was in the clearance section for three dollars. But you guys know if you've been watching me, I love the color red. <laughs> so I picked this plate up with the intent 
of placing it in this area here. And I have it sitting on a decorative stand. There is my floral piece there. And of course, I always have to have a candle burning. And all of these pieces are sitting in my tray. Love this look. Well guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much, Denise, for being such a gracious host and coming up with this challenge. Please go over and check Denise's channel out. You will love her. I have fell in love with Denise and the content of her channel is amazing. I will have the link to her channel in my description box down below as well as the playlist. The playlist will feature some fabulous, talented creators, guys. So please go check out their vignettes to see what they have come up with. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and share. And if you have not done so, I would love for you to become a part of the Diva family here just by simply pushing that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. And when you subscribe to the channel, don't forget to click the notification bell up top there so you will be notified of all the videos that I upload because I do upload videos every week. I can be followed on other social media sites which are Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, as well as Twitter. The links to those social media sites, they will be listed in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. You take care, you be blessed, and I will see you on the next video. Love you guys.